So long. Round one. Fight. <laughs> for Total War Three Kingdoms, designed in collaboration with Intel. This new Horde-style mode, they also have a new set of skills and abilities to equip them to stand against hundreds of thousands of enemy soldiers that and have access to a plethora of skills and upgrades that they have available to them. For example, Wood Heroes are highly resilient melee characters, whose upgrades allow them to defend or heal their allies.
You didn't really expect to beat me, did you? to hit some target times. I'll be watching, and when you're finished, I'll... Okay, it's best to enter corner slow. Not so bad for a beginner. Okay, we're gonna lock in your settings for the race.
Reaper's getting torn apart. We need those guns offline now. Two guns down. Watch it, you got Still can't land. In this stealth-based ninja game, the player takes control of Go. During the game, there will be several missions to companions, because in face-to-face -face sword fights, he'll be at a disadvantage due to the large number of opponents. It was considered a game that could have done better in the way of controls and mission variety. Origami is an upcoming title that will launch on PlayStation 4 on October 4th, where the player takes control of Origami, an assassin that possesses supernatural abilities. The main mechanic is the ability to teleport between shadows. The villains of the game are represented by various army warriors that have the With new weapons to choose from, dazzling fighting mechanics, and an engaging gameplay, Ninja Gaiden is a title that received a lot of love from the critics. Play as Ryu Hayabusa, hunt down the Holy Emperor, and retrieve the magic sword Ryuken. You have a wide range of new weapons you can use. Tenchu is one of the first ninja games to use stealth as a dominant characteristic of the gameplay. Besides this, Kimaru and Ayame, and while their stories differ, the levels and missions are the same. There are 10 levels with an increasing held in high regard for its use of stealth, instead of just fighting, making it a hard game to- yeah! You do know that ninjas are supposed to be quiet, right? Here these guys, and let's head for higher ground. If what Mercer says is true, I need to look into Gentech and Blackwatch. Don't cause any trouble. Father, if Blackwatch made the virus, then they killed Maya and Colette. What would you do? You tell me. Unenviable task. May I remind you, mistress, that you have no fear among your horsemen.
if it's a bug or not. Our drawbridge right here. Act as a, a ramp of sorts to get on, just like so. Can raise and lower it. My name! Who can die, Shock collection is coming out on September the 13th. This collection is going to be a port from PC to console, tall on Infinite if you played on PC. However, wonderful universes that you can, that the consoles will be able to deliver a 1080p 60. Of course, the collection will be available on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. All of the DLC as well as a few extras. Those. Well, you look no further than the Golden State Warriors, who, when they are freedom, but within that freedom, they've got to make sure, okay, we've got to value the... Tio del Potro. Fuera! Infernada. Thank you. 
reasons you don't try to keep me down But I'll put the flame out and you can't get to me Throw your sticks and your stones, go break all of my bones You won't you see I did the line issue with the center. What I do want to talk about is those line issues, and it really comes down to just double team. You have a situation like this where players get stuck in between each other while being blocked, and then goes right past the corner, the safety goes over to the opposite side of the field. Give it real tricks. Now that... In the same way, hold down I or K on the keyboard after you jump to pull off flips. Nice understanding of what you did right, and more importantly, what you did wrong. Take and improve your game. These changes have increased the flexibility and strategy while offering more challenge when in the stickiest of situations. And our new shot. And 80,000 lucky. This is the Blue Ribbon event. Eight athletes, but there'll only be one winner. Set. The waiting's over as they're off in the 100 meters final. A really strong performance from start to finish. USA second place. Into the final stages of the 200. New Zealand take gold. And the silver goes. Rated E.
Truth of what you must seek. Round one. Fight. Take that threat lightly. Begin. Slipping a jab, throwing a hook, or loading up a haymaker. We wanted EA Sports UFC's fighting engine to show off the same fluidity you'd see. Striking isn't the only way for you to put the hurt on your opponents. 
Sink into submission and watch a fighter struggle as you strain their limbs or constrict their circulation. Our new full body deformation system means that flesh displaces flesh. Muscles contort and skin flushes to help create a greater sense of urgency than ever before. Fighting with a plan in EA Sports UFC makes all the difference. by substantial and contact it's turning fire Adams Wolfenstein The New Order, the brand new title for it is called The London Monitor. Avoiding the shoot the core, and what that does is that prompts him to open his missile silos, and you need to shoot the missile silos. There's a total of six. When you take the six and monitor, win the boss fight, and move on to the next mission. Alright everybody, that's all the time that I have. <laughs> Alpha Squad to Cave. We've arrived the League of Shadows. Don't let them escape! Don't let them escape! Stop them before they end up in driver's head videos! ことを勝てる勝てないじゃなくて。<笑>
他のゴミとは明らかに違う。なんか。半端な結果はいらねえ。喧嘩でな。どうだと。俺の力だ。俺な。燃やしつつ。まず俺の力だ。まだ。戦わねえ。ジェイルアイランドかこの島から闇に流れた武器が今世界中の戦争を助長しているそれだけじゃない世界政府が島を仕切る監獄長にダイナガンの採掘調査をさせているって噂もあるダイナガンがもしかもうここまでだ Managed to fit inside tiny models thanks to a weird eyeglass that someone called the Re, the latest instalment in the point, press, pull, and twist adventure series from Fireproof Games. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Anyway, the game continues the story started in the first. The room three widens the scope of the original. 
There are still boxes, but the station is a sci-fi thriller set aboard a space station in the near future. It's several segments controlling a mobile camera for spacewalks and other tasks. But you have to work with Emma to get the station running properly. The dialogue and pacing builds a sense of trust and companionship between them. Troubleshoot problems and do a load of other small tasks that, when coupled with the story, make for an engaging and rewarding gameplay loop. However, help me out here. Let's do this together. Just a little. So please keep your weapons sharp and welcome. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. I've done enough night shift owner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Game the lead. Game the lead. Stanley K. Employee Lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. On your side, give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha! Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked... All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even... You're not gonna put me in the ah. Ah. I'm gonna start with you. Why'd you have no, to come here? Please! Huh? Why? Don't make me! Ah. 
that how you're trying to kill me? Oh, there has to be a way to get to He's going to die. And the winner... Ah! That nigga look right to you? Hello everyone. Sovereign is a new take on the grand strategy genre, presenting the world as a... Zero AD is a free open source game of ancient warfare. This game is very much in the style of Age of Empires, particularly Age of Empires 3 from around the world. It is being developed by Wildfire Games, really appreciated with this game and quite enjoy is this interesting concept that has a similar nature then I'd highly recommend checking out this game as I said I will leave it linked in the description if you guys want to have a look steal in the game and what doesn't but so far my first impressions are this the first thing i like you about other than in the washed out areas it's a little bit too washed out uh but the game's not been out long enough for me to give it any sort of credit or discredit of, of, upon the story at all so basically what i'm going to say is so far the story is good it's setting up for a lot of things that i can see happening in the future that are going to be good but i don't know how those things pan out yet so i don't Thank <laughs> you. 
the people on our doorstep want to hurt us. It's rioting in the streets, for God's sake. Actually thought. Through the game, you travel with your energetic young ward, Lissy, who serves as an assistant and guide to help you solve the mysteries of the Isle. The dialogue between the characters is interesting and rare. <laughs> track of your orbits go you wake up over stop right there i'm gonna need to ask you a few questions i didn't do anything wrong officer i'd like to see some id please no problem officer here you go your hands behind your back you're under arrest ha i'll be out in 24 hours go Nice work. One last crook on the streets. and ears open and you should at last we're going to try to get it to come nearer as our shotgun we just have to hold our breath and press the trigger a precise case beam, whatever they're called, factory, uh, modular frame factory, heavy modular frame factory, so here I'm making 10 heavy modular frames per minute, it's working well. Uh, over there we've got... Another game we play is called Taurus Bay, a Taurus bus company, and there's a lot more to having to your company, and what you do when you get in, you'll be soon on your way to uh, picking up and dropping off Taurus. You now, soon after you buy your first bus, you will do, and then you'll get another. <laughs>
universe, inhabited by a huge family, very similar to ours, and secrets to discover, work to do, and enemies to defeat. But no tale would be complete Darker moments when you feel isolated, vulnerable. A helping hand, a reassuring word. The thought, someone who shares in your story, can be enough to see one through the most difficult of situations. But sharing diminishes control, and that has consequences. Hey, it's, uh, I, I, I didn't think you'd call. Yeah, well, how's the search going? This is no longer just a missing person case. Oh, it's, it's, it's nothing. Bullet, seek. Alice, you sure you're doing fine? Jess, I swear, there's something really messed up going on in these woods. Calm down. Oh. oh. I got knocked down by one guy behind me. Kill me! Kill me! <laughs> I killed him! You play as an unnamed man who comes home to know that this house is deserted. No one is home. You find out early on that the character you play as is a painter and he's been working on a painting on the canvas for some time. For the majority of the time, you go through the house where reality starts to become a twisted nightmare. You can see the game is actually running. Now it has been reported that the game doesn't actually work so well. Wow, that was that was creepy. Just for a second, it's uh, pretty good. Of course, everything is on low and. Be
part of your hunting grounds in The Hunter, Call of the Wild. ...from you, as it can pick up on your scent. Moving around increases your heart rate and affects your ability to aim. Hold your breath to steady your aim and line up your shot for a quick and clean kill. Harvesting animals provides the resources you need to buy equipment and upgrade your character. But every harvest is also...
世子。
nuke. I want to be the nuke. Get out of my way. Lately powerful? Well, Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning is not that sort of game. If anything, this upcoming action RPG from 38 Studios and Big Huge Games overwhelms you with options early on. We won't spoil every detail of the story from the beginning. When you go to war, you're going to want to avoid a long, drawn-out conflict. The Warmonger penalty affects not only how other civs view you and how will uses amenities in your cities. Killing units in foreign territory, fighting wars without just cause, or dropping WMDs adds war weariness to your cities. This negative effect can cause your cities to work less efficiently, or at worst, make your citizens revolt against you and spawn partisan barbarians to pillage your tiles. Managing war weary- Return to the medieval period. I know some people might see that as stepping on AoE2's turf, but personally, I like this move. Age of Empires 2 was the most successful game in the franchise, and it's an incredibly interesting time period. I don't see why it can't be revisited again, especially if the game takes it a step beyond Age of Empires 2. In the teaser, we also see two of the new civilizations, the Mongols and the English. One interesting thing you can see with the Mongols is their infantry is specific to their civilization. There was a quick post-teaser interview with Shannon Loftus. ISIS. A graphical overhaul delivers beautiful new environments to explore and rewarding and purchased freighters can be navigated between systems introducing 30 hours of story and more uncover a strange new race of travelers and unlock the secrets of the Abbey. The New World. We will regain our wealth. We will build our armies. And we will fight our enemies. But we are not alone. Our old enemies have followed us. And new dangers lie ahead. I try my hardest sometimes, but it's pretty imperv impervious to geometry. Oh, we got a sticker. Uh, my favorite weapon in the game, right here, if he can get his hands on one, is the Thunderstick. Let's see if I can get a couple guys with it. Oh! Nice. So good. For many, the allure of medieval fantasy RPGs is so obvious, so captivating. This idea of living in another world, somewhere more hostile, magical, more intense than our real lives is a powerful escape. While visiting such a world, we want to believe. The illusion breaks down when the game reminds you constantly that it is a game. That is what happens
the shackles of Tom Paxton, an undercover agent posing as an inmate at a high security prison. An innocent man named Lincoln Burroughs has been convicted of rape, is hellbent on setting his brother free and escaping from the prison, hence the plots and name of the program. And in this case, the below average video game. Prison Break The Conspiracy is essentially a third-person stealth game in which you guide Agent Paxton through life in jail. A grind of sneaking around the prison and taking odd jobs from other inmates... Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> to item and skill systems, it's roughly as coherent as a rum drunk buccaneer. Combine that with a flat story that rarely deviates from expectations, and you're left with an experience that's fun in spurts, but ultimately tedious and not much to Risen 3's campaign. You'll visit islands, run errands, choose one of three factions as your primary allies, and close demonic ports. standard third-person RPG, but sometimes the camera will seamlessly change angles and suddenly you're playing a side-scrolling platformer or a top-down brawler. Other times you'll jump into a vehicle and suddenly you're playing Asteroids or an arcade-style bullet hell. This is Asteroids now? Now we're playing Asteroids. Okay. This may sound kind of annoying, but it's done in a way that somehow feels entirely natural and keeps the combat feeling fresh and exciting throughout the game. Okay, we're switching perspective. Which way is up? Okay, got it. Speaking of combat, I found it incredibly satisfying. The controls are responsive, the combos are easy, and the animations are spectacular. The environments are...
Dragon Age Inquisition είναι ένα αμφίβολα το στοίχημα τη περσινή χρονιά, αφού Electronic Arts και Bioware έχουν δεχτεί δρυμίδα την κριτική από το κοινό τα τελευταία χρόνια για την ποιότητα, φιλοσοφία και εμπορική λογική των τίτλων του.
There's something for every Dark Souls 3 fan to enjoy in the Ashes of Ariando, the first of two planned DLC packs. There's a brand new icy land to explore, new weapons, armor, and spells of almost every type that are sure to please no matter what skills your character favors. Exactly how long that enjoyment lasts, however, may depend on whether you enjoy fighting players over bosses. Hey everybody, this is uh, author Jeff Bowles, doing another video ago. I wasn't the hugest fan, it was an okay game. I thought some of the uh, hacking stuff was a little silly. You can kind of think of these games as Grand Theft Auto with hacking. I mean, you can see I'm about to bust into a car and steal it. You know, the gunplay is kind of downplayed. You're not really a scumbag. You're just kind of like a hipster hacker kid, right? Um, this game is a huge improvement on the fascinations and following the story of Bayek as he lays down the groundwork for what will become the famed Brotherhood of Assassins are some of the best experiences in Assassin's Creed Origins. The Hidden Ones DLC expands upon all of them in ways exciting to see Bayek take his skills and aim for something bigger. Aside from the allure of the main story, which takes about two to three hours to complete, The Hidden Ones poses some new challenges that puts to the test everything you've learned while leveling Bayek up in the main game. Ubisoft recommends that you reach at least level 40 before attempting to play it, and that's a caution you should absolutely heed. One particular quest, called The Walls of the Ruler, takes place in a massive and seemingly impenetrable fort crawling with Roman soldiers ranging from levels 38 to 42. On the edges, but they've all been a lot of fun. Originally, they aped the GTA games, but now it's definitely one of the best sandbox games in its own right, and that's basically down to it being so over the top and inventive. Think you couldn't top the Saints fighting on Mars in Sanctuary the Third? Well, is that now I can go around killing everybody and destroying stuff in the world as much as I like and not feel any guilt because I know things aren't real? Sounds stupid, I know, but there we have it. And because this world isn't real, you'll also garner superpowers as you hack into the system. It's no apologies for its outrageous nature. It's a power fantasy in every sense of the phrase, placing you in a world rife with destructible environments and giving you instruments with which to destroy them. There are intermittent technical problems and scripted moments detract from the freedom found elsewhere, but in the end, Just Cause 3 presents a spectacular sandbox experience. It's a testament to this game's creativity that guns were often my last resort. Like all of Just Cause 3's best moments, the tether encourages experimentation, rather than thoughtless reaction, and as the hours passed, it took them so long, but at this point I'm just glad the final game's not a watered down, poorly written buggy mess that's an embarrassment to the franchise. The most radical change to the Fallout formula is a new setting. You awake inside of a spaceship vault and set out on your quest to kill hundreds of people in this already very slimly populated space colony. Gameplay wise, it's a big step up from Fallout 3 and New Vegas. For the first time ever in a Fallout game, the gunplay makes you want to shoot the enemies instead of yourself. There was also that one action. There are also some fun and ridiculous side missions and minigames, like for example driving a stunt car, constantly catching fire through checkpoints of water so you don't burn alive. You're not alone in your efforts though, you have allies, from a dog to a bear or someone who you've just saved along the way. And these can be used to take out targets or even to heal you in a battle, which actually becomes through the further missions where it becomes a lot harder. There are tons of vehicles and weapons that you can simply buy from a liberated town, ranging from is freaking gorgeous, from the landscape design to the character animations, stunning. If you think 18 to 24 hours of story isn't enough game for you, then good news, it has a lot more to offer. Enter the Far Cry Arcade. So one of the things in the arcade you have is short missions that can be played solo or co-op, like time trials and stuff like that. They are fun and sometimes weird and really worth it, especially co-op. You for the PC. After countless delays, PC gamers finally got their hands on the game. 
But before we get down to the console, and that is that you can use a mouse and keyboard. The Euphoria engine really is beautiful, but you never really get to see it used to its full potential on the console because of things like auto aim. However, with the mouse and keyboard, you really are going to see some of the most insane deaths as you pinpoint your shots everywhere. There's also been a fantastic director mode added, so you can basically make your own little movies using the characters in the game. Position the cameras anywhere you want, slow time down, use different filters. There's tons of user-made videos online if you want to check it out, it really is fantastic. Slip in. Don't hối hả. Cho đến việc len lỏi vào từng ngõ ngách bên trong thành phố Hồng Kông rộng lớn và không chỉ mang đến những phát hành động gây cấn hay những màn rượt đuổi nghẹt thở. Sản phẩm này cũng mang đến một câu chuyện mang tên lòng tin và sự phản bội. Tình anh em giang hồ của quý hơn cả sinh mạng của bản thân là những giá trị đạo đức mà bạn khó có thể tìm thấy trong một tựa game nào khác. It contains reworked art, effects, volumetric god rays, dynamic depth of field, mod support, and all three additions to the base game. It also comes with all the bugs of the original game as well. Yes, some of the many issues from half a decade ago have found their way into this edition too. Characters literally merge into tables instead of sitting on chairs, and sometimes, for no good reason, they collapse, making the lack of polish obvious. This is after applying a day one patch, which, according to the notes, bring general optimizations to the game. It could be forgivable for a new game, but you would think that after five years, these problems would be addressed. Unfortunately, the visuals of the game also show the same half-hearted approach. Outdoors, Skyrim Special Edition is stunning. Its snow-capped peaks and vast meadows are great to look at. Changes from day to night happen more smoothly than other open-world games. And the weather effects, from rain to snow to sunlight, all add to the immersion. However, when you find yourself indoors, particularly in the, in the PC Master Race reality, today we are going to take a closer look at Dragon's Dogma, an action role-playing game developed and published by Capcom. We will see whether this former console generation exclusive title handles a 4K resolution or a 144Hz refresh rate. We will also try to play it with a Steam controller. into the mainstream. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt promises to break that mold and appeal to gamers that not only specialize in fantasy romps, and believe me there are a lot of them here in many different guises, but also to gamers that love a good story and narrative in a game as well. The game is absolutely massive, and I've already heard stories that if you want to do everything in the game you could spend over 200 hours of your life on it. I'm nowhere near that far as I need to get a review out and I have a life besides gaming, but I can vouch that the world is very, very large and this game will keep you busy for a very, very long time as well. 
It also makes you want to keep playing thanks to the rich world of full characters, monsters and lore. The story starts with a tutorial where Geralt experiences a flashback dream featuring his daughter Ciri and then throws you into the present day where you're still looking for your daughter who's running away from a band of spectral warriors known as the Wild Hunt. He's also hot on the heels of another lady in his life, Yennefer, a magical lady who he's had more than a few dalliances with involving a unicorn. Just watch where you put that horn, young man. The main quest sees you talking, hunting and riding your horse Roach through the land of Temeria, and it's an involving enough tale that in itself will take tens of hours to play through. However, there's more fun and enjoyment to be had here upon exploring the rich and beautiful world and using your richer sense to track for clues and find items. You could be finding a magical item at the bottom of a well one minute, and the next fighting a big beast, using either of your two swords and a variety of spells to fight your foes. There's some strategy here too, consult the beastery to see what works well against who and make potions and buffs that will give you the edge in combat. There are also plenty of other things to keep you amused during your time in Geralt's shoes, including a card game called Gwent. If you're into Hearthstone, you'll be in familiar territory. I'm not, and it does take a while to get the hang of it. Expect to lose your first few games, even in the tutorial. For the collectors among you, there's the added bonus of trying to find all the cards around the world, some of which you'll have to earn from some of the best players around Temeria. Geralt's also a charismatic bugger, covered in scars and not afraid to chat up, well, everyone, who's a joy to control, despite the combat being a little bit clunky and your horse occasionally getting stuck on trees and not having the sense to jump automatically over low fences. Frame rate is another issue here, at least on the Xbox One. It's not that it's constantly low, it just stutters here and there, which does take some of the sheen off the great presentation. There is so much to The Witcher 3 that it's impossible to talk about everything in this short review. لا تنسى الإعجاب والاشتراك في القناة